everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, and subscribe, post comment, and subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link tree down below. It has the links to all of my social media. Please follow me across my social media platforms. Talk to me. I'll talk back. It also has the links to my YouTube pages as well. Please go down there, subscribe to my YouTube page, turn on your notifications. Please thumbs up my videos. You know what I'm saying? So you folks will be in the know when I post content. I really enjoy uh, having you folks watch my content and enjoy it and give me feedback. So I want to thank everyone that gets involved with the links any way that they can. And now with that said and done and put to the side, I want to talk to you folks today about Marvin Lewis uh, being interviewed for the Jets head coaching position. Whoa, this kind of took everybody by surprise. <laughs> uh, you know, for some of you who may not know who Marvin Lewis is, he's a former uh, Cincinnati Bengals head coach. While he was there, he went 131 uh, versus 122, and he also had three draws. Um, he won four uh, NFC North titles, uh, and he made the playoffs seven times. So let me tell you something. I know that there's a lot of Jets fans that are looking at this situation and going, hey, why did you bring this guy in? This is not a guy that <laughs> most Jets fans want to have anything to do with. And I think it's because a lot of people remember him as being, you know, sort of like a mediocre head coach. Um, the, the Cincinnati Bengals are kind of just up and down, up and down, up and down. We're never really able to put things together. Um, the team was just kind of ho-hum most of the time. Uh, but a lot of people would argue from the other end of the spectrum that, Maybe he wasn't always put in the best position to succeed as a coach. Uh, we know that Cincinnati Bengals ownership was extremely cheap. They had issues just, you know, trying to get their practice facility together. Like they had a lot of issues over there because the ownership honestly didn't want to spend the cash to take them to the next level as a football team on quite a bit of fronts. So a lot of people argue that. But, you know, me personally, I don't know, man. I'm not a big the biggest fan of Marvin Lewis. He definitely was not on my radar. He's definitely not a guy uh, that I had on the top of my list to come in here as a head coach because I had just many questions. I wonder, again, with him being a guy, you know, that hasn't had a job in a minute, you know, can he relate to the players here? You know, as a retread, what kind of, you know, what has he learned from his situations in the past that he could come in and really provide a different perspective for us and be a better head coach than he was in Cincinnati? Um, what, if, what would his plans be offensively? Because we also know that, you know, Cincinnati's offense was kind of up and down as well, especially, you know, the later years before he got let go. Um, and just, you know, how exactly would he handle the quarterback position here as well? Um, I just have, you know, I got some questions. I got some questions. Marvin Lewis, again, he's accomplished things in the past, but I don't know if he's the right man for this job here, especially with, again, the, the mediocrity that we just saw there in Cincinnati. I don't know. I don't know about this one, folks, but comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel about the, uh, you know, Marvin Lewis being interviewed here for the Jets head coaching position? What are your thoughts on him as a head coach? Uh, do you like him? Uh, would you be interested in seeing him, you know, take Sam Darnold to the next quarterback under his wing and lead this franchise forward? I really want to get your thoughts on us, you know, possibly hiring this guy. How do you feel about him? You know what I'm saying? So can't wait to hear from you folks. Please comment down below. You folks have a good one. Peace.